see the board game. So I have material here, military materials, the board game. Okay, they have details of the board game. So if you go through this material, I have better understanding. What the board is all about, the techniques required, now that's go through this material too. Errors, 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 experience, ways of debugging. That's the debugging in C programming. Talking about when you write a code and for the check your code, you should error. So, how do you troubleshoot? How do you uh, debug? Technically, we we'll call it also you say troubleshooting find out where the error is and uh, and also resolve it so if we go through the material we have details on how to go about debugging and learn techniques on how to debug so this video basically will be on answering the project questions the quiz so the first quiz said in the main C file, on what line is the first error that the computer returns? So let's go to our question. Let's have a code. Uh, from here, this is the original code. Then when it was wrong, so we have error. So on what line is the first error return? So we go through from here, see warrior, missing in function mean, uh, missing k, this is the first error return. So line 11, this is the line, and this is sub. That is, if you read from this line now, this 7 means like from here, this m is 1, a is 2, i is 3, n is 4, 5, 6, 7. So this cell uh, is the seventh one of this line. This is line one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. This line six colon seven. If you have to pick this guy, it will be line six colon six. If you are picking this guy, line six colon five, and so on. Mind you, space is also a line. This is also a line. So for this tax, this should be our answer. 11. Then let's go to the second one. So the following could give this incorrect output. We should the following statement about what is causing the error is true. Now, this is the code. The variables are declared, the condition is given. Now the body of the code. That's how the conditions, the outputs, the return. So when this code was run, what do we have? So this shows this is more like an infinite loop. This zero continue print, print, print. So the question now is said which of the following is about what is causing this error? So what is causing this error now? So look at the code and look at the First we say G never increments, so it always be less than 10. Then, so here look at the first condition. I declare to be zero, I less than 10, then I increment. But G give the condition less than 10. Of the truth, there's no increment here. So G never increases, so there's no increment of g so we can say okay this is should be one of our answer then b is always equals to i so the loop will never end so there is no any condition that says j is equal to i so that is not necessary because j has been declared to be zero then the second the third one is never increment so it's always going to be zero 
since there is no increment of j so what we're going to have is going to be printing this guy all through so we, that will cause the this cause infinite loop so what's going to be printing out is just this zero and because there's no increment it's going to continue as long as there's no condition to terminate it so we have this guy and this guy option as the answer for that quiz then we go to the next question two the following code give this output what is the error the error okay this is the code all the variables are declared conditions given so here if I look at the error is it me see from line 20 number three statement with no effect saying j equals to j minus one saying j minus one so let's read the first option we don't need to assign a new value to j because it doesn't do anything we have j i will declare to be 1000 now if j has a variable look and we are saying this is a comparison if you are comparing this guy together now what is the previous condition that we want if this guy should be compared there's none so if you say the second one say we want to assign j a new value not copying so it should be this instead of this so of course if this guy doesn't require a comparison what you want to do here is what to assign a new variable a new value to this variable here and if you are to assign of course this shouldn't be this sign is for comparison not variable not assigning value to a variable so therefore then we want to copy j so we need an if statement before this so we're not really comparing we only want to assign a new value to this variable j so b is our option this code doesn't work as intended so now let's add print f statement so the code to the code what information do the print statement tell us about how our code is executed so in this case we have this guy here our variable we have a condition given the first condition and the second condition nested is nested having a loop inside another loop if the i modulus 2 is not equal to zero so we are saying continue First, what you do is break. So now the print evolve the output and print f now. So we are now going to add print f to this statement. So where are we adding it? It is added here. So the print f added to this guy, this guy, and this guy. So what does this statement mean? So the first is print f it shows when the for loop is finished so this one here when it's finished what should happen is continue then uh, the second one should say print a statement shows exactly how many times the loop executes how many times the loop executes this one shows statement shows that the break will cause for loop existed to be indicated that the even number is never printed so if you look at all these printer statements, you say i is not zero, so we don't print this so this one show you as when the loop is finished and this guy so here if you look at this guy this guy to my understanding let's try and see no i mean let put this guy here so to my own understanding, let's have this guy. So, I'm um, compatibility between this and this. I don't really know. So, this guy. See if I go to have error. Let's 
see what he has to give it to us. Sorry for the delay. I don't know what is going Let's go back and check. Never submit it. Okay. Let's go through it again. So the other time we selected, there's no time. Just go straight. So we selected this and did that, so let me select we will make it because that is why it's a lane. So let this. Okay. Oh, that's great. So, we'll do it like this. So, the next thing is the tax ahead of us. So, we have our tax to take care of. Again. So this has no advanced cost tax like others. There's a lot of work to do here. So, right. So let's go. 